Hey. Hello. So, um, I'm still having difficulties, um, making videos for YouTube because it's annoying watching me chew my gum. Again. Sorry. Am I LT? Um, I'm still having difficulties because I come from a different school of thought. And I feel like every time I have to make, or every time I make a video, I have to get this little disclosure, and that's ridiculous. I couldn't do that. Um, hmm. So, I just should just do what I want to do and not worry about it, but it's been difficult. And then, come to find out, I noticed that there's, um, a group from the original video blogging group that is now getting on YouTube, so it's like, if anything, I feel a small case of hypocrisy without a reason. And I know a lot of people on YouTube like to use the word hypocrisy, and I don't think most of them know what that is, but it's a bigger word than, um, sponge. So I don't know. So I'm just not going to worry about it. The point is... I need to deal with this myself and figure out why I want to do YouTube videos aside from and or in addition to or subtraction to the lineblog.tv uh, video blog. Am I too close? And here is my reason very quickly. So here's my reason ish. And that is, I like to be able just to do video blogs real quick from my laptop because it's convenient with the built-in eyesight and just do chop editing and stick it up there and who cares. Where the video blogs from lineblog.tv, I like to put a little more time into it as it's more of a life archive. Um, so I think it's basically about that. And unless something amazing happens with my YouTube videos, which will not happen, um, I would only merge the two. But at the same time, I would also um, put my lineblog.tv videos on YouTube. And I can talk really disjointed like this and not have to worry about it, where I wouldn't do that on my line blog. Why is that? Two different type of viewers? I think so. I think with the line blog, with the regular video blogging community, the old school now, the iTunes, RSS feed, which is a huge thing, that, anyway, um, there, there was a, oh, I don't, I'm gonna piss people off, a uh, higher, no, I shouldn't say that, uh, I don't know how to say it without offending everybody, okay, a higher standard with these people, a smarter group of people. Um, that are dedicated and passionate about video blogging and the sorts and done a hell of a lot of research into it versus just going, oh, there's a website that I can upload video to and talk about nothing or whatever. Um, however, just because of the way the world works, that website, YouTube, is extremely popular and it's got a huge viewer ratio, which is good if you want to get a message out. So there, there's the double sword. And I know everybody else is going through that same issue, but I just got to say it out loud and then I can stop talking about it and just do what I do. Uh, and it's not even like I'm a successful video blogger anyway, but I just feel like I was part of the beginning of it and therefore there's a little history of it. So that's why I'm conflicted. Um, So now, after I do this video, I'm just going to sit back and let everybody else duke it out, and I'll just do whatever I do or don't do. But the whole problem, the whole point of this video is that I start thinking about this stuff so much that I end up not making a video at all. And that is the true tragedy. Or maybe it's not a tragedy, because it might not be that interesting to watch. <laughs> okay, so, and I don't itch my nose on my blood. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a real gay look. Anyway.
I am gay, so it's okay. Um, finally, one of the main reasons that made me think of these two schools of thought was because when I was going through my YouTube stuff lately, which I have been, because I watch YouTube while I work, so I can watch a lot of it. But there's this one particular person's channel that I just adore and I'm truly addicted to. And that person is Mel's Basket Case. And she recently removed over 420-some videos of her, which is a shame. Because I was actually watching, going through watching all of them. Because I could, right? Because I work from home. And anyway, I just really liked her her ability to just ramble, and it was interesting. And I always felt... Um, I feel this four, three minute, four minute pressure point, pressure point, um, you know, to edit your videos down, which I still believe in, but I think I'm, this is for the lineblog.tv stuff, but I think for YouTube, I'm rambling. I think for the YouTube, you're allowed to ramble and it's okay because it's really easy just to skip or turn off because there's so much, there is so much, there's too many people. So, uh, but you know what, that's what I like about it, and that's why I'm going to make this video and keep it just like it is, and not worry about it. Hmm. I don't put everything on YouTube, though, from my blind blog, that TV, because you want people to go back and forth, right? But I don't think half the people on YouTube even know what RSS is, so, and I hate explaining it to people. Drives me nuts. So that's my little ramble, my rant. Um, I have a director's account. I could probably go for 40 minutes if I wanted to. I'm not going to. What I just illustrated to you was a dramatic pause. You could see that I was thinking and contemplating. And that's one of the best things I love about Mouse Basket Case's videos. Is she doesn't edit that out. And I think that's some of the best moments. You can really look into somebody's eyes, well, no, you can't, but anyway, I, I, I like that, so I just showed you a version of that, did it work at all, a little bit, do you feel like you know me now, you just hit the unsubscribe button, didn't you, <laughs> yeah, you um, garlic bread,